Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Transport Fever. I'm thinking that that one, like I've got this bit over here so I can have that, oh no, that Paris Leon line is the one that's got to stay there. Let's have a look and see what trains we've got. By trains, I want a nice expensive fast train really, don't I? I've got 22 million still. Rail bus. Right, um, 90k. That one right there is 125k. That one is 140. 200 for this one. 16 million for that train. 140, 90, 120, 125, 90, 145, and 100. Right, so what's the one that we've got? What's the one that we've got right now? That bad boy down there. Um, we'll have a look at the Paris Leon. Vehicles right here. Oh, wait a minute. Details. There. That one is 140k. Automatic replacement is off. 2.83 million. It's, it's that. Oh, the class 1042. That's what we've got right there. The class 1042. It's that one right there. It's 8 million for that one. The class 103. 200k. Definitely the fastest one. I think this is one that we want. I want that one right there. So that one's going to cost me a lot of money. 16 million to buy that one. But it does do 200k. So I'm going to buy that bad boy right there. This train over here. Overview. Vehicles. Train one. I've got nobody on board at the moment. So that one can actually send to depot. There. You can go to the depot. Like that. Let's get rid of all of these for a second. That one there is going to go back to the depot. It's gone the wrong way. There. Let's start moving it like this. Right, that one's off to the depot. Heading for depot, like that. Now, it says average travel time nine minutes at the moment. That's because I don't have my new train out yet. So I want to get that train to come whizzing along this way. And it's going to go into the depot in here. I've got my new track down here. I've gone and built. So that one, standard tracks for limited speed. Specialized tracks for higher speed. And we've got that all the way through. He's coming across the bridges. Um, maybe I've done this completely the wrong way by buying in through there. I've got 5 million left. Which is probably going to end up costing me a pile of money. Yeah, I've got the Paris Leon line right in there. There we go. You've come on in. So I can slow you down a little bit. As soon as that one's gone in, we'll be... Right, there we go. Let's pause everything once again. And now we need to take a look and possibly sell everything. Now, despite that train there being able to go 200k, the carriages can only go 140k. So we're going to be limited for a little while to start with, but I'm hoping that we will be able to soon get some carriage upgrades. So I don't regret buying that train there. We'll sell that one. It's given us 5.6 million, which leaves us 11 million in total, which I don't think is too bad. Set that to the Paris Lyon line like that. There, and let's go. So we're going to watch this train. I'm, actually, I'm, I'm going to leave it on that speed for a minute. So I'm going to watch that train. And I'm going to zoom out on there a little bit. And I want to see what this train can do. This, 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 this looks pretty cool, actually, this train coming out of here. I like the look of this train. And we can keep an eye on the speed up there. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six carriages coming out the back of that one. And he's whizzing along here already. 120, 130k. He's doing very nicely right through the cuttings here. It's it's looking pretty good. He's slowing down there. Now, let's see. I don't know if he actually fit properly in that siding right there. 
That's going to be an interesting thing, whether or not they actually fit properly. He's going into the first tunnel now. His speed is going back up again, 124, 130. Should be going up very nicely. We've got another siding up here. I'm going to stop it up. This tunnel is really long, isn't it? I thought it came out just here. It doesn't. This tunnel goes for a very long way. So we've got a long tunnel under here. So when we get a second train running on the track, it's going to take quite a while to sort of do anything with. Now, I'm down to 10.4 million because every single time we have money go up, it's, it's like 300,000 or something obscene. Slow that one down a minute. And let's have a look here. Once it gets into the middle, it's going through there and pause. I don't think that this is quite long enough. I think we're going to have to change this. All right, it does. It goes all right there, but it doesn't go through into those. So I think we're going to have to extend the length of that one. It's gone a little bit further, and then I will do that again. And we'll have a look at the next one. So we've def that one in the middle between the two tunnels we've definitely got to extend. Or just out by the other one. I suspect we're going to have to extend this one as well. So let's have a look at this. And I will pause that as soon as it gets into the middle. Right, that one. That one's absolutely fine. That one fits absolutely perfectly. So that one can stay there down to 9.6 million here this line is going to end up costing us a lot of money isn't it i'm reasonably confident that we'll do all right with this i think i just heard the um concord go so it's 300,000 every time it ticks something out uh let me pause that that one's definitely got to be extended so the two of them that come just out of the tunnels from north to south they have definitely got to be extended now we're slowing down, we're down to 60k down here, and into the station, turn round, and back we go the other way. Average travel time, 9 minutes. We need to get that down to 7 minutes. Now, is this the average travel time at the moment? That's going up through there, so I've got to change that one. Let me pause a second. I know that that one there is all right. This one here I do need to extend. So what we're going to do first is I'm going to go to here and that one. One way, no. So we'll, we won't have any of those as one way. But what I am going to do is I'm going to get rid of those. That one and that one. And then I'm going to get rid of that one and that one as well. Then that section there. And then this high-speed track. It's definitely got to be the high-speed track that we want on there. Right. Ah, I've got to put it up. No. I don't want that. Why is that not possible? It doesn't seem to want to pull out from there. It's just saying construction not possible. If I go to there. Ah, right. Okay, I'm not quite sure. It didn't seem to be wanting to clip like it normally does, which is a little bit strange. So I want to bring that out further probably doesn't need to go quite that far but we will bring it out to there anyway we will put that in there like that so that is joined in where it should be and then that will go in there like that now i will take the signals and i will do the same as what i've done before i will put the signal that side and one that side and then the same over here. Like that. And I will also do it either side of the track down here. Now, I don't know if I need to do that bit there or not, but that's what I'm going to do. 
So that's done. This one up here, I'm going to, looking at this, I'm going to assume that we need to do the same on this one as well. And that seems to be all right at the moment. But I, I think maybe it came in that way and slowed down a bit because that's kind of like the nearest piece of track that it could use. So maybe I should put that siding out over the other side. Maybe that would work a little bit better. So I will get rid of that one and that one. And these four here. Um, there and that one there. And then I'm also going to get rid of that one, that one, that one, and that one. And I'm also going to remove the track from this side completely. Like that. Then I'm going to take the track and I'm going to put it out that side. And I'm hoping what that's going to do is it's going to make it more... It, like, it's going to think that it's a, a longer distance for it to go out that way. Right. There we go. I want that one to come out like that. And come out onto that side. So that will go to there. And then I can extend this one out. And I can't do a double track all the way just yet. But I want to make sure that I have got enough room there for two trains. So we'll do that all the way down to there. It's only 24,000 to get that far. So that's not too bad. And then I will bring that into there like that. So then I will go back over to here and I will do a signal either side of the track right there. And then what I've done previously, which is signals either side of the track right there like that. And the same up this end. Like this. One there and one there. Right. Hopefully that will work. So then I can go back to my train over here. And let that carry on. So we can watch that go through under here. Now we know that it fits just fine in there. That's not any problem at all. It goes whizzing up through there. Now this is 140k that it does going up through here. And it's staying at 140k at the moment. Whether or not it's going to change the journey time. And at the moment it's saying 9 minutes there. But I reckon it's going to do better. Now I'm going on a straight line. Or, well, that one, no, that one was already on a straight line, wasn't it? That hasn't changed. But is it going to change to a, a, a better journey time? Still losing 300,000 every time it ticks. Now, I don't know how often that is, but it does seem to cost us a fair bit. Um, I mean, the journey is quite a long time. In, in terms of gameplay, the journey is a fair bit of time. Now, I'm going straight through there, although I still don't think that was long enough. Looking at this, I still don't think that was long enough. So, I'm going to do that again. It didn't seem... I didn't actually properly measure it admittedly but let's not take chances with this we go back to the high speed rail and we'll bring that on i'll just bring it on a little bit further like that so i will drop it to there and then feed that in like that and then go to the signals and one two over there and then over on this bit so we put two for that side and two for that side right that seems to be okay now i've got a big long section in there and i shouldn't need any more long sections anywhere else so we will follow that one in there it's now slowing down to 100k as it comes in through and slows right down as it comes into the station down to 50k and pulls up to the station like that and stops turns around average travel time is eight minutes tw uh, yeah eight minutes and 26 seconds and we need to get this to under seven minutes the only way we're going to do that properly from what i can see with its 140k all the way through the only way we're going to get it to stay Right, now I've got decent gap on there. 
The only way I can see us getting this change is um, by doing what do you call it. It, it, it passes on there. Um, average travel time. We, maybe we need two trains. Either that or we need different carriages. That's the problem. I've got no bridges. And uh, the tunnels don't have any. The only way to achieve truly high speeds... Now, I'm not braking anywhere on the track except at the ends. That's the only time I'm braking on this track now. Is at the ends of it. Wait a minute. I haven't extended that one. That one there needs to be changed. So let's pause. That one there we need to alter, don't we? So we want to come down here and... Did I start working on that already? Or did I just not put in extra ones? I'm not sure. I get rid of that. And then I will go in here with the high speed track. Now bring that out. I extend that on a little bit further to there. And then bring that in to there. And then I will go with signals. Either side on there, and then signals either side on here as well. No idea, as I have said a number of times, whether or not this is actually the right thing to do, but I'm making assumptions that it is, and I'm hoping that everything is going to be all tickety-boo. So it's going to go whizzing through there. Along he will go. And if you look there, yeah, we got loads of room on that bit. It slowed down right there the to 100k. The money is slipping through our fingers. We'll soon be bankrupt. But if we're prepared to grovel on our hands and knees, our financiers will grant us a bridge loan. Average travel time is 7 minutes 53. So here we're having to slow down. Just on that corner there. And... That corner there, we're having to slow down a bit. But as soon as we go through there, then we're we're speeding up. But if we take out a loan, there's 10 million that we've got right there. We are indeed going to need to take a, another... Let's go up here. We're going to need to get a second train going, aren't we? I mean, we could also work on the infrastructure a little bit. Uh, I've got no buses or anything going, so I'm wondering if maybe we should be doing that. Because that would, like, get us some actual passengers. So, uh, oh, wait, I can't. I literally cannot do that. So we've got to do the travel time. When I look at you, though, and I go to buy... Tr a new vehicle is available. Right, the only the only carriages I've got, that one there has a top speed of 100, that one has a hop speed of 120, and that one is 140. I don't have a vehicle that can do this. I don't have any other vehicle that can do this. We've got a seven and a half minute time right there, and I'm not allowed to buy any other vehicles either. So I'm thinking that really we've just got to stay as we are, haven't we? Is that the only thing we can do? Unless I go with it. What's this? This one does 125. 25. No. Those aren't going to work either. We can do 140k at the moment. They just don't have any customers to bring the money up. Now, where's our train? I don't think the carriage length has anything to do. I think our biggest problem is the type of carriage. Because the type of carriage is wrong, it's not letting us do it. There's the train coming up through. I need to speed that up a bit. Uh, there's the train coming up through. It does make us slow things down a little bit here, so maybe I should just pause things a second and we'll see if we can change this a bit. So I will go remove that and that and this over to here. And I will also, yeah, because of where this comes out. Right, let's get rid of some of this. Get rid of all of those. And then this all the way up here like this. Right, and then we go back over here to the high-speed track. And I bring that one on to there. 
And I put that level build like that. And then you here will go in there like that. Correct, Amundo. And then we will take these signals. And I will do the signals on here. Like I've done. There. I, like I've said before, I don't know if that bit is right or not. So then I go back over to the high-speed tracks. And first up, I want to take that one to go from there. Too much curvature. Right. I need to take it from there, and I need to bring you straight out over this way. There's a piece of track there, which we don't want. So I'm going to bring that one straight out, and I'm going to join that one onto there like that. That one's going to go there. Then we will just get rid of that bit. There a minute, and we go up here. That looks like it should go through there without too much trouble. I'm sort of, well, I'm hoping that it will. I'm really, really hoping that that will go through there without any trouble. Then that one can go on to there. This one can go on to there like that. And this one, where can this one go? To bring that one all the way up. And join that one into there. And then I will press shift to upgrade. Oh, that's that's already fast speed. Right. Um then I want to come over to here and I want this next bit. You're gonna come out and you're gonna come into here. So that bit right there. I'm gonna bring that one out. Because I'm going to end up wanting to use this bit again, I think. So I'm going to bring that in around there. That's got to go to. That's got to go out there somewhere, hasn't it? So I'm going to bring that one out and bring it up like that. There, and then that can sort of go to there, and then I will put a set of lights on there. And a set of lights on there. Actually, I don't want the lights on that side, do I? For this bit, I definitely don't want those lights there. I just want one stop in it there, one stop in it there, in case this isn't clear. And then that bit I will leave, although I'm not sure why. And move those two right there. Then go back here and go to that one and join that bit back into there. So I've now got two tracks on there. But that should be a bit straighter, so I'm hoping that by making it a bit straighter like that, it's going to result in a faster travel time. So let's do this again, and... There, you. Zoom in on that one a little bit, and I'll put that one up there, I can zoom out on that. You're coming all the way in, so you're down to 90 to go across this bridge, and then down to 50 to go into the station. 7 minutes 53, right there on that travel time. I can't build any 7 minutes 19, so I'm hoping going back the other way is actually going to do what we need it to do. We're down to 12 million. As soon as it gets over here, it starts speeding up. We're 90, up to 100, and then we're out onto the fast track over here. 140k and it should stay at 140k all the way through without any problems let's get rid of that one a second should stay 140k all the way down into the other station which i'm hoping will reduce that travel time to below the required seven minutes once we've gone back through this once more don't think we're going to need to do this any further but it does stay at a straight 140k all the way through. So I did express doubt as to whether or not I should be doing it like this previously. But I think we've got it right. I think that this was the right thing to do. Just put this straight one. Completely ignore the old tracks all the way through there. I'm not getting rid of those. That's why I've gone and connected them up again. Because I think... Because there's a coal um, thing over there somewhere. That's connected to those tracks. 
I think we're going to end up using it. So I think that's going to be something that we're going to want to keep. Now, we're staying at 140. Previously did slow down coming through this bit, so I'm hoping that he won't now. 140. Staying at 140 going all the way through that is 140 until almost into the station. There's 100k right into the station there. Seven minutes. Very nine nice. Minutes. We've been able okay. to reduce the journey time considerably. Not long now until the TGV high-speed trains are operational. However, the train stations in Paris and Lyon are very poorly connected. They're located outside of the cities, out in the sticks. If we want our service to be popular, we should make sure that people can reach the train in the first place. Right. Build bus lines in Paris and Lyon and ensure that 500 passengers per year travel from Paris to Lyon. So, I'm going to pause completely. We don't want to do anything else right now. We want to pause that absolutely, completely and wholly. And we need to set up bus stations in here. Now, my first question is, what have we got in this marvellous city? Huh? Okay, I've got buses there, but they don't seem to do any. I don't know what that's all about. How are we for traffic? Traffic doesn't seem too bad. Generally speaking, seems all right. We've got an airport over here that we definitely want to connect. And then we've got a station that is all the way up here without a lot going on. But we want to connect that one up. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a bus and tram station. And we're going to connect that one directly opposite here. Uh, I'm going to put that one like that. There. So there's the first one that I want to put in. And then over here with this one, I can't connect anything on that, but that's existing bus stations. Have I already got a route? Nope, I don't. Line manager. I've got one there. I don't have any other routes, so I can't do anything about that. Do I connect in some... I'm not going to connect in anything extra at the moment. I'm going to do my standard. We're going to go with bus tram stop. And I've got one there. So our first one is going to go on that side there. And then I'm going to go... Right, see, there's a bus stop right there. But apparently I can't use that one. So then I'm going to set one here. This bit over here, look. We're going to change that around. We're going to go with a large four-lane street. No, I'm going to go with the medium street. First of all, I am going to get rid of that, and I'm going to get rid of that. And then I'm going to go with the medium street from here. I'm going to bring that out like that, and I'm going to bring that on round like that. So it connects in that piece right there. I've then got another connection over here that I'm going to personally extend out. And I'm going to put that in there like that. So that's going to help the city expand a little bit. At least this is what I'm thinking. And it may be beneficial to us as well because we'll be able to get round the bus stops sooner. I have been advised that I shouldn't put too many bus stops. Putting too many bus stops is not a good idea. I have been putting loads and loads of them. So we're going to go around the outside of the town. We're going to go around the outside. Uh, around the outside. Round the outside. I'll put that one over to there. Oh, wait. Now, this is the thing. I would like to do a trip into the middle of town. So I've got one there. I'm going to put one there on that side. And I want to put one near the Eiffel Tower. So I'm going to drop one there as well. Then we're going to come back out. And we're going to come all the way over here. Right up against that airport. Well, folks, that's all we've got time for today. We'll be back again very soon, turning yet more pristine natural landscapes into booming industrial wasteland. But before then, if you enjoyed this video, then could you please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.